Tonight, we continue with some more Alan Wake, Episode 4, The Truth. Um, I've been told that this is quite the, um... Groggy. Whatever Hartman had bumped into me was making Shadow, me how's it going, dude? I felt like this was happening to someone else. How's your teeth someone doing? I was watching on television. Or tooth. I couldn't think. Or tooth area. Focus. We are here, uh, with Dr. Hartman. We just woke up. Typewriter. Okay. Oh. Here we go. Good evening, Alan. Hi. Are we feeling better now? Sure, I'm gonna just stand oh. over here. Yeah. I see you brought your pet. It has been with removed. So, sure, so that I must make it feel better, but it still clear. sucks. <laughs> but how are you feeling? That's the spirit? You're being very brave, Alan. I understand you're confused. I would be more concerned if you weren't suspicious of me. I don't really? blame you for it. Big of you. Now, why don't you come with me? We'll reacquaint you with my clinic and go over everything you might have forgotten. Little walk and some fresh air? Yes, it will do you good. All right. That must be this place. Can we look in the wardrobe? No. Emerson, Creator's Dilemma. Wake, that's me. Wait, Emerson, like, what's that guy? Uh, he was a writer, right, Emerson? There's something on the desk there. Hold on. Uh, the engaging new book by M Emil Hartman, PhD, the author of the best-selling Creative Flow, his groundbreaking techniques, engagement therapy, and the flow explained in his own in his own words. Now available in bookstores across the country. Ooh, I can go in here. Death Rally. What is that? Sounds awesome. Night Springs, the video game. Is that also known as Alan Wake, the video game? Yo, this dude's got candy. Oh, he's also got pictures. Dark. Yo, that's me. Little maze game there. Night Springs video game. Pretty sure that's supposed to be Alan Wake. And an Xbox 360. Hilarious. Don't know what Death Rally is, but I bet it has some sort of... um. Connection. A pain in the clotting is done, so it's done bleeding entirely. Didn't even need stitches. It came out all in one go. Good. Like 90% sure that ain't candy. Really? Really? I don't know, man. It looks like cherry and lime flavored candy. <laughs> this corridor is for patients. Most of them aren't here right now. Jack took them out for a fishing trip. Except for the ones who are particularly vulnerable, of course. I encourage creativity as a part of the recovery process here at Cauldron Lake Lodge. I specialize in treating artists. I bet you do. Splendid, Alan. I honestly believe we can get this thing under control if we work together. Why is that door locked? <laughs> this way, Alan. No, I that, that can't be it. Right? Lane. Someone was painting. What were you painting? Can I see? They're gonna let me. Okay, they're not gonna let me see. Okay, fine, fine. Okay. This soul. Well, that was pretty cool. A little Easter egg there. I would have. Imagine that's what they meant for it to be Anderson. Anderson. Mr. Anderson. Surprised to see me? Should we take the elevator? I'll take the stairs. I'm fine. Oh, wait. There's no stairs. Just a bear. Huh? Okay. Hmm. Hey, Knife. How's it going? We just started. For your favorite chapter of the game. Now, Alan, from past experience with you, I know I need to get right into the, yeah. of the matter as quickly as I can after an episode. So I'm just going to say this. 
Alice is dead. Knife. Now, you're in a very They're saying that Alice is dead. Until you understand. What's going on there? Accept this. Alice drowned. And you couldn't face that. You're suffering from hallucinations, paranoid delusions, unusual thinking, an obsession about light and darkness, a feeling that everything revolves around you, your thoughts and dreams. The most random thing in your video game history. Your mind is constructed an elaborate fantasy scenario in which your writings are affecting reality. She has been kidnapped and supernatural forces of darkness are trying to stop you. Those things really are happening. Can you trust them? No. That's why I punched him out. Like three episodes, way, two episodes ago. I wasn't ready for another shot. So I went along down the rabbit hole with Alice. I had to be lying. But under the influence of the drug he had given me, I had to fight not to believe his words. Who's the voice actor for Alan Wake? Because I really like him. Did a really good job. It's all in your head. You've been making it up. Apart from the tragic accident with your wife, no one has been killed. Your delusions are just a manifestation of your subconscious mind trying to protect you from the too painful truth. Unless we fight the fantasy, it will return. I know the instinct is to resist me, but think about it. Doesn't this make far more sense than the insane supernatural conspiracy you have concocted in your mind? You're a skeptic by nature, Alan. We both know this. Everything can be explained logically. Don't tell him. He doesn't know I escaped. <laughs> oh, there, wait, there's someone over there. Looks like he's he's either hiding behind. It looks like he's hiding behind the furniture. Sir, could you let me in, please? Yeah, there's someone in there hiding. Uh, Let me in, dude. Oh, the door's open on the other side. You want to go to Washington State? Make sure to pack an umbrella. Don't pay attention to me. Just another door. Okay. Okay. I'm I'm following you. Don't keep looking back like maybe I'm not going to be there one time or something. That'd be crazy. A sundial? Cauldron Lake Lodge. 1912. Right? That says 1912. Beyond the shadow. Here we go again. Uh, beyond the shadow you settle for, there's a miracle illuminated. TZ, Thomas Zane, in the memory of a dear friend and a poet. 19... Twelve. What are we doing out here, boss? <sighs> I never get tired of this view. Very inspiring. So Isn't much it? fog. Cauldron Lake spread below us. I could see Mira Peak on the other side of the lake. I thought I could make out the spot where Diver's Isle had been when I arrived with Alice. Now there was nothing but waves. Oh, storm's coming. It seems there's a storm coming. Funny, I don't recall there being a mention of that in the weather forecast. Uh, weathermen. Well, no matter. This way, follow me. They're not very good at their jobs. Oh! Alan, what I'm telling you is good news. Right now, we're in control. Every time you have a relapse, it gets more and more difficult to resurface from the dark depths of your imagination. Not surprising, considering your profession. Imagination is what you work with. After all your nightmares, this should come as an immense relief to you. If it doesn't, why is that? Because I'm lying? Or because you don't want to admit that you're not well. It's very natural for you to think of me as your enemy. It's part of the. Can I stab him? I feel like I want to stab him. Hartman the obviously one loved to his own voice. His words echoed madly yourself. inside my head. But I, can't I dug my nails into the palms of my hands to stay you focused. You need to work with me. Once you accept that, we can begin the journey towards. Go back. I'm going back. Come along. Let's go inside. No. Well, now I have no choice. Yeah, the voices were overlapping, but it was almost like the voice in his... It's the voice in his head talking. 
and telling you that he was trying to ignore him in the first place. <laughs> Let's talk to the guy who's hiding behind the couch. Well, here's the entrance to the office wing. That's for staff only. You were impressed by my trophies when you first arrived here. Was I? I do love to hunt. The great outdoors, man versus nature. It's wonderful stuff. I don't remember that ever being a thing. Apparently this guy's a real huntsman. Scary, scary, scary. <laughs> I like this guy. <laughs> I'm a real bad dream, mister. You should be afraid of me. Don't want to run into me in the night, that's for sure. Please, Emerson. Mr. Wake is confused enough as it is. This was the guy with the video yeah, games. You'd like me to right? go away so you won't be scared. But you can't just decide what kind of dream you have or when you have it. Emerson. Okay, okay. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Ew. That's Emerson. I guess so. We're actually making some progress with him, I'm happy to say. He works on video Elbow games. Strike. It's yeah. trash, of yeah. course, but yeah. it does involve I'll some small the Trash, he says? Which makes him receptive to my therapeutic methods. No kidding. How long can you treat madmen until you become the madman? Yeah, Dr. Hartman doesn't look right. Or doesn't seem right. This dude's painting. Hey, what you painting, bud? Oh, hello. I've painted you. No. Okay. That does not I look anything like me. I was by inspiration a couple of days ago. Dr. Hartman wanted me to paint landscapes, and that's what I was doing. But now I've been doing these things, a lot of them. The images just keep coming. Dr. Hartman likes them. He has them in his office. Yeah? He's very proud of me. He says I'm getting much better. I think I'm getting better. No resemblance. Well, I guess I'd better start wrapping this up. The storm is almost here. Look at that. I'd hate to be out there tonight. I <laughs> guess who's going to be out there tonight? Us. Go through this creepy looking door. Or not. Ooh, they're, they're playing board games. Let's check it out. Remember when Alan cracked Dr. Harmon? Oh, yeah, like in episode two, the beginning of it at the sheriff's office. Yep. It's honestly not bad. Come on, this way. Hi, lady. What you doing? Can I hang out here too? It. I feel like you're saying yes, but at the same time, no. What are you looking at? Oh, Emerson, I know. I know. But he likes video games, so we're cool. Yeah. Alright, good talk. Um. Let's talk again later, I guess. Books. The Human Island. We saw that one earlier. Believe. Change. Mom's survival guide. Fight the security guard? I didn't see a security guard. Um, But hold on. There's a thermos. I need to do that. It's dark over here. It's dark. Okay. Oh, it's this thing again. Okay. Oh, we could read it. I didn't even know. Hi, lady. You want to talk? Chat. Me and you. Okay. Good talk. Uh, Dr. Hartman went through here. Uh, okay. The fourth person in that picture the like the last person to the right uh looks really creepy i can go upstairs but do i want to go upstairs right now like that's the thing i didn't know if i wanted to go upstairs right now oh no there's a generator up here you know we're gonna have to uh fight stuff up here a white knight and a black knight? I can't tell. Yeah, yeah. Okay. 
Uh, also, there's a QR code here. Was that some... That must have been something special back in the day. That generator could help later. Yeah, that's what I figured. QR code right there. You see it? Oh, there's a television here. You know, we'll be back here later. For sure. That's really dark and creepy. Another thermos? Two thermoses! Like, back to back. My goodness. That wasn't in your game? Dun dun dun. Hartman had mentioned that the power had been acting up. Maybe that was the reason for the generator and the work light on the balcony. <laughs> Maybe. The generator hadn't been activated. And there was no key. There was no key. Yo, look at this crazy owl. Hi, welcome to uh, the Cauldron Lake Lodge. Uh, I'm Alan Wake. <laughs> I know. I know. I am that Alan Wake. I know. Uh, can I help you to your room? Oh, what? There's no one there? You didn't see those people? Nice looking asylum. I don't think it's an asylum. I think it's supposed to be like a kind of like a, a spa for artists. <laughs> That's locked. Hi. Boom. Uh, okay, man, this guy has a, a wall. All right. Wow. You might have noticed the typewriter in your room. Yes. You've been writing as a part of the therapy. Have I? As soon as you feel up to it, you should continue. I've been writing as part of the therapy? Is Are those the manuscript? Those must be all of the manuscript pages that I keep finding everywhere. <laughs> yeah, I showed him, definitely. That. Mmm. Welcome to Cauldron Lake Lodge. We're here to give you the specialized help you need. However, please observe the following. Please ask friends and family to schedule visits beforehand to ensure they don't interfere with your therapy and or the periods of creativity. Also, please respect your fellow patients' need for privacy and personal space, especially when they're engaged with their by their creative processes. Oops. Be patient. Typically, our patients have long-term creative problems and they won't be solved overnight. Give yourself permission to take the time you need. Bear in mind that you're... you're Voluntarily receiving treatment that has been specifically tailored for you. I I don't think I volunteered for this. We totally didn't want this. Engagement therapy TM and its sister method, the flow TM, work best when you are actively engaged in shaping them. If you have any concerns, please don't hes please don't hesitate to voice them. Another television. Oh, in a manuscript. Hey. Can I can I get in there? I I I forgot something in there. I forgot my um my typewriter ink. Can can you help me? I feel like you're not paying attention to me. Okay, fine. My rheumatism is killing me. <gasps> oh, it's There's these guys. Coming. Oh, what a storm! I hope it wipes this place off the face of the earth. And these two are the Anderson brothers, <laughs> Odin and Tor. They had a, how should I put this, a heavy metal band yep. in the 70s and 80s called Old Gods of Asgard. They even adopted new first names to complete the image of Viking gods. After the band broke up, they lived on a farm nearby. They are, well, in advanced stages of dementia. They're well cared for, TLC and all that. There's nothing more that can be done. I'm afraid that the rock and roll lifestyle has left its mark. Wow. They're also playing a game called Night Springs. Hey, I wasn't I'm ready. So sorry to cut this short for now, Alan. The power has been acting up. I'd better go check on it. We'll continue this soon. Meanwhile, when you feel up to it, return to your room and try to write. It really is for the best. Don't you think? This guy is... I'd like to bash his head in with a hammer. Oh, Go for he'd it. He'd love to fish out our secrets, but he has no clue. He's not crazy enough. <laughs> not crazy like us, Sonny. Yeah. Being ah. crazy is a requirement, Sonny. Who else could understand the world when it's like this? 
It takes crazy to know crazy. That's the sanest thing I've heard in a while. <laughs> hey, that hurt. Say, you're all right, Tom. Hey, we like him, don't we, bro? He's got to go to the farm. The Anderson Farm. Valhalla! We wrote it all down, lest we forget. A crash course. All you need to know to get your head right. You need to find the message. Here, Sonny, here's something for you. Gave me a rash, but I kept it safe from these bastards. He had a manuscript page? My head was clearing up, or according to Hartman, I was sinking back into the fantasy. I was convinced he was lying to me about everything. Crazy or not, the Andersons made more sense. Tom, got any booze on you? <laughs> Yeah, uh, no. <laughs> we have guys. a stash of the special stuff at the farm. Our own formula, local ingredients, medicine. Is that Here's the moonshine we came across? The moonshine caves that we came across like earlier? Moonbeams on the brain. Oh, I just noticed leather patches on the elbows. That's not very rock and roll. Yeah, I'm just lost, he's right. Is all. Baba Yaga got to him too, the damn witch. She used us all, taken from all of us. Took my thunder, the witch. And my ravens, what was, what were they? <laughs> Memory and thought, the hag. She took something from you too, didn't she? That's what she does. Um, we're better off. This place, the lake, it gives you power. If you're a creator, an artist, a god. Nightmare shifted in their sleep in the darkness of the lake. <laughs> yeah, that's the one. I like she these guys. Make sure it comes out twisted and wrong. Just ask the lamp lady. She knows what happened to that other rider. <laughs> She's been using you, boy, and you let her. You went and opened the door for her, didn't you? Now, now, it was already open a crack. And whose fault is that? We're morally corrupt, disease-ridden, old and stupid. Doesn't mean he had to open it all the way, goddammit. Ah, uh, Would I perform with them? Yeah, man. Lead so guitar? Tired. For sure. Built the farm close to the lake. A place of a power. A place of power. We had parties there, man. You, you should go there and have a party. Okay. That Bob okay. Balder threw the app through the window. Bob Balder? That a hippie chick in the back of the head. Oh, no. stitches of the concussion. Bob's dead, though. Leukemia. Stitches, snitches, and narcs, man. Pfft, bad scene. Dude, they sound like they're tripping right now. I'm tired, man. So tired. This was good, guys. See ya. See ya. I, I want to go home. I want to go home. Same. Uh, okay. Thomas Zane's writing and assistant. Also, why were they thinking that I was Thomas Zane? Zane could feel the poems taking form, shaping things. As he experimented, he imagined he could almost feel the power surging through the keys of the typewriter. It exhilarated him. But there was fear, too. If not for his young assistant, Emil, he would have given it up. But Emil convinced him otherwise. He, too, had a way with words. Emil? Emil. Hmm. All right, so they told me to go back to my room. I'm a bad dream, and you can't wake up. You can't hurt a nightmare because all dreams are only imagination. They're only in your head, and they're not there when you wake up. 
So you can't wake up because I'm in charge now and I don't want to disappear. My nightmare is the publisher people who want to make a contribution so they can say they made a contribution. And then we end up with mullets in there because they think mullets are funny, but it wasn't supposed to be about mullets. And now it's about mullets. And when it's in slow motion, they call it mullet time because the numbers came back from marketing that mullet time is the Oh my gosh, they're talking about Max Payne. <laughs> <laughs> this is great. Is the writers who want to make everything from the characters to the toasters talk, talk, talk all the time and express their feelings so they won't shut up and the writers won't shut up either because they have feelings too and I have to listen to them because they're not scared of me and everyone should just shut up, shut up, shut up. But I don't see nightmares anymore because I'm too scary for them. I take two pills every morning and one with every meal and four when I go to bed and that makes me the scariest nightmare of all <laughs> okay I I like you um do you have anything to say yet she's happy though she likes being here how about you you done it still looks the same as like 10 minutes ago You'd probably hurry up Storms are coming. Storms are coming. Look at these hey, two just wait, chatting over here. Why don't you humor Dr. Hartman and give the writing a shot, huh? Typewriter's in your room. You can get to your room by those stairs, Wake. But I don't wanna. Fine. Okay. Something's wrong. I'm not myself. It's hard to think that there's a shadow inside my head. Shadow. I only focus on writing. Everything else is a blur. I'm trapped in this cabin. Have been for days, but it's always dark outside. My editor is real. I saw her again. She's not human. It's not human. A dark presence is wearing the old woman's face. She was covered in clinging shadows. There's a hole in her chest where her heart should be. But. I think I've made a horrible mistake. I don't think I'm any closer to saving Alice. It's been lying to me, using me to get the story it wants, and the story will come true. That's not good. So what they're doing is that they're taking the best writer of all time and trying to raise something out of Cauldron Lake. Boom. Game finished. And here the comes the darkness. The page in front of me hurt my eyes. My hands began to shake uncontrollably. You can't type like that. Rock and roll capital of America. Hey, wake. You stay here. I'm going to go see what's up. You just keep doing what you're doing. Be cool, okay? Oh, man. I didn't know what the chaos was all about, but it could be my only chance of getting out of here. Okay, cool. Mjolnir. Oh, afraid of the crazy brothers, are ya? Not so weak now, are we? Okay, we just picked up a page. That wasn't there earlier. Barry in the lodge. Hartman kept talking, giving Barry the grand tour, clearly proud of the place. He went on and on about his hunting trophies, and Barry was impressed. But he was here on business. He raised his voice, cut through the monologue. Hey, Hartman, where's Al? Hartman stopped in mid-sentence, annoyed at the interruption. He nodded at the hulking orderly standing nearby. The man smiled and clapped a practiced hand on Barry's shoulder. Well, things are unraveling fast, aren't they? <laughs> nah. <laughs> okay, hold on. It's my store. I'm taking it. What? The TVs might show something funny, not this TV though. Okay. Come back to her, baby. There was another TV earlier. Um Wasn't there a room that looked like it had a manuscript page in it? I want to make sure I don't miss it. Maybe it was downstairs. 
Oh, I think it was downstairs. I was asking the orderly to open it up, but he wasn't listening. Can we use this yet? Nope. That room was downstairs. Yeah. Okay. Oh, I can sprint now. I, I remembered now. Alan or Alan Wake remembered that he knows how to sprint. Hey, these Sinclair lights are on. Looked bad. <gasps> that wasn't a love tap. The crazy the old fart hit her hard. If she was one of Hartman's goons, she had it coming. I could get the key to the office wing from Sinclair. Whoa. Come out and raise the music, Birch. It's time to pay the piper. Whoa. These dudes. Birch, is that the name of the orderly? I had to get to Hartman's office. Got the keys. Taken all my yeah, manuscript pages. Birch, That's where he'd be keeping them. Go to Hartman's office. Wait, this is Hartman's office over here? I didn't see that picture on the right earlier. Uh, is that Mott? That's Mott on the right there. The photo on the wall caught my attention. In it, the clinic staff was standing outside the lodge. I knew the man next to Hartman. He was the kidnapper. Uh-huh. Hartman had been playing me all along. Is Hartman, like, oh gosh. Is he mess? Hartman, do you hear me? I'm gonna sue your crazy quack ass to sled. What? Hold on. Seriously, do you have any idea how much trouble you're in? I am famous. I famous. represent a celebrity. Oh, it's Barry. All right, Barry, hold on. Hold on, there's some really scary crap in here. Oh, it's pictures of all the stuff that's been happening to me. Whoa. The markings on the tape said they were recordings Hartman had made at the sessions with his patients. I saw Alice's name on one of them. For a moment, I couldn't breathe right. Oh my gosh. Well, let's read the Mott fails Hartman. Hartman wasn't happy. Mott could see it in his eyes. He quickly lowered his own. He had made a mess of it, and he knew it. The shame of failure was hard to bear. He hadn't expected Wake to say he needed more time. And he blurted out two days, less than Wake had asked for to show him who was in charge. But that wasn't part of Hartman's plan. Okay, here we go. We're going to play the tape. Now, Mrs. Wake, can you tell me about Alan's problems? <sighs> he's more and more out of control all the time. The parties, he's so angry all the time. He's getting violent. He's... Do you mean with you? No, not with me. Just get him here. I'll absolutely do my very best. Yeah, but doctor, you need to be careful with him. He's not just going to listen to you and cooperate. He's the 
most stubborn man I've ever met. Well, I'll be sure to bear that in mind. Hearing her voice, what she was saying made me happy and sick and guilty all at once. Worst of all, I recognized the words. The phone call from her. It had been a cut-up of this. Just a recording. Huh? Okay. Let's let Barry out. Hmm. He'd heard it before? Barry? Barry? He's hiding behind. About time. <laughs> Barry. Man, am I glad to see you. We need to get to Hartman's office. It's right next door. You okay? Yeah. I mean, no. The cops found me a Rose's trailer, but they didn't hassle me too much. I'm obviously a victim in this, and I demanded to be treated as such. Or else I'd sue their asses. Speaking of asses, that fed gave me a real hard time. But I had no clue where you were. That guy's crazy, Al. But he let me go, and then I get a call from Hartman, that son of a bitch, who tells me you're here, and I should come pick you up. But when I got here, two goons clobbered me and stuck me in there. What's... what's with the cutout? I stole it from the diner to piss off Rose after what she did to us. Oh, gosh. Well, teacher. Oh, no. Yeah, that's a harsh punishment. Come on, pal, we gotta get going. Cool, cool, man. Good, good luck getting those exotics. Cool, cool. Poor Rose. I know. I like Rose. She's a big fan. She's a big fan. All right. I'm going to regret this, but let's go. Okay. Barry, you're in the way. Cutscene. Ooh. And a gun. These so here we go. The pages I had on me. And more. Alan, please. You're sliding back into the Tell me one more lie and I'll shoot you in the face. There we go. Ah, well, it was worth a shot. Really, Wake. Come on. Let's work together on this. You have no idea. Hartman, what... shut up. Barry, get out of here. I'll catch up with you. Get a car. Aw, oh, really? Oh, Do we want Alan, Barry to leave? Let's just go. Okay. All right. We should just go. Wait, I'm with Barry. Listen to me. This is a mistake. Don't you see? Together we can create something absolutely wonderful with your ability and mine. It's the darkness. Whoa, what? Really? It took out Hartman? And we smiled. That was... That was in a page that we found the other day. Okay. Okay. Oh, A. A button. I didn't realize that I had to try that hard. Oh, no. Oh, really? Inanimate objects again. I needed light to get the possessed bookshelves out of my way. Okay, get out of here. I see light right here. I needed light to get them out of. Ah, oh, it's my face. Or oh, the back of my head. Wait, wait, I got it. Upstairs. Seriously? Checkpoint reached. Boom, shellock lock, boom. Dude, look at the darkness all outside. What? Yeah, woohoo! <laughs> That's cool, Shadow. I I hope you get them. Um, I heard there's a lot of stuff that's getting vaulted, which kind of stinks. Oh, it broke again? Hopefully that gets the rest of it. Again? Oh, apparently that's it. 
Seriously, still no light? No. I must. Whoa, there's so much! Oh, come on, dude! What? I got me a flare. Um, hold on. I'm all disoriented right now. Nani? Really, I walked into the rocks. And they hurt me somehow. Unbelievable. Yo, this there was a manuscript page. Get it. Hartman's mission. Hartman knew he was no creator. He had no ambitions on that front. And he certainly didn't want to end up like every artist he had worked with here, damaged in ways that were hard to describe, or worse. It was enough for Hartman to maintain creative control and provide direction, to be a producer. That was what most of these people were in need of anyway. Of course, suitable subjects were few and far in between. Okay. Ooh, here we go. Y'all ready? Boob tube. This looks like a commercial. That dude had nunchucks! It's like Fast and Furious before there was Fast and Furious. Mustang Drift. Something mustangdrift.com. What? Look at these phones! Want access to thousands of applications? Verizon Wireless has you covered. Check out the latest games. Oh my Discover gosh. And old favorites. Social networking, sports scores, news. It's all at your fingertips. Did they really need all sorts of money for this game so they. They got a bunch of. um... Look at the way he's looking at us. <laughs> he's like, really? This is what you're spending your time doing? Okay, I think they're done selling stuff to us. Hold on. Yeah, that, that was... Ow! Um, let's go. Okay. Which way we going? Not that not that way, I guess. Dude. Oh no. This way. Come on. Oh, man. Like I ate that with my face. Oh, no. I can't get out. Whoa. <laughs> okay. All right. So. Oh, I bet we need it to break, to break through the doors. I bet that's what we need to do. Oh no! Oh no! What? It wasn't even moving! Oh, there's a door back here. No, I can't go out that door! Oh no. Come on. Why? No! It's supposed to break the door! Okay. All right. Let's try it again. Why? Oh my goodness. I did it. I did it. Help, help. I'm here. <laughs> Whoa. Beery. Oh, hello. Hold. I know, but there's a thermos here. I need to get it. I'm thirsty. Mm, that coffee dough. Okay. Beery. Well, the games I've played it, and that's a lot. That's the most random thing ever. <laughs> okay. 
Okay, I think... I think we are good. Although there's a, a very inviting light over there. I bet we're not going to be able to get out, to get through this gate here, and we're going to have to go around over there. I found the car, but the gate's locked. Yep. You're going to have to go through the hedge maze over there. I figured Barry, that. I don't have a light. Take this, Al. Take this, Al. Thank you. Oh, God. Look at the house, Al. Look out. What? Oh, no way, dude. Oh, no. Uh, oh, no. Oh, uh. no. Uh oh. Oh no, come on, come on. Whoa. Come on. Oh! Sometimes it's so hard to see because of all this stuff going on everywhere. Get wrecked. Get wrecked, pillar. There we go. It's not much of a maze. I made it through easy. Oh, what? That phone is super old. It's true. You are not wrong. Okay, hold on, man. Getting all the things over here. Proceed through the garden. Okay, that door doesn't want to kill me, so that's a good sign. Uh. Al, hurry up. I can hear those evil guys moving around. What evil guys? Never mind, I hear them. Woo! What? Get wrecked. Very good. I can hear those evil guys. Nice. Alright, hold on, I gotta read. Wake sees the old god stage. I stared at the Viking paraphernalia that littered the area, surrounding an unlikely centerpiece. A full-size stage complete with an impressive sound system with all the trimmings, including a dragon. A dragon! It took a special kind of crazy to build something like this in a remote field. When the sky split open with a deafening boom and the music started blasting, it felt strangely appropriate. That's awesome. Okay, but dude, I don't know where I'm going. And Barry said that this was easy. What the? Nice one, game. Alright, I'm gonna head towards that light. Dude, what are you doing up there? Whoa! Cindy Lou, what are you doing out there? Nope. I don't think so. Woo! Nope. Whoa! Okay, hold on, sir. Whoa! No! Whoa! Yeah, that's right. Yeah, that's right. We did it. That was a close one. I'll admit it. Can you ask for Zombrex in your clown voice? I need Zombrex! <laughs> Is that my clown voice? 
Oh, let me guess. There's, there's. Okay. You'll sleep like a baby. All right. Hey. Whoa, no, hey! Okay, what's going on here? Can we come back here? Um, whoa! Whoa! Oh, that light's gone. Uh, oh, I didn't even see him. What the? Okay. Woo, what? Come on, dang it. Oh, come on. What a, what a cheap fight. Seriously. <laughs> what a cheap fight. I thought this light would be here, but it, it was gone. Bro. Bro. You get two pills in the morning. Nice and calm all day long. Come on. Okay. Ow. Oh, flare gun. What? Whoa. Get out of here. Oh, no. Man, that dude took a ton of shots. All right, so we got it. Cool. We're good. GG. Whoa, guy. Woo, what? What? Dude, this guy's huge. In your face, you can't see nothing. Zombie, zombie. Uh oh. Zombie. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Cool, cool. Uh, we're gonna check in this little shed here. See what we got, what you got. Oh, pick pick up the shotgun. Pick it up, pick it up, put it down. Also a manuscript page. Mott in charge. Mott knew that Wake was smarter than him. Wake had more money, a beautiful wife, everything. And Hartman said Wake was important. That made him better than Mott. But Mott was calling the shots now. He'd expected Wake to whimper and grovel, but instead, he seemed willing to fight. 
Mott knew he'd gotten under Wake's skin. If only Mott actually had his wife. The thought made him shiver. Do I own a shed? No, but my old house had a shed. Alright. I don't think I want to use the shotgun right off the bat. So... Whoa! Ow! Whoa! Hey! You guys just spawn out of nowhere, huh? That's kind of your your thing, huh? Whoa! The oh, come on, wheelbarrow. Gotcha. Threat neutralized. I could do this all day. Okay. Barry attacked by a Taken. For the moment, Barry was just glad he had survived the fall. He had been separated from Al, and there was no easy way to climb back up. He told himself he'd be okay. Okay in the gloomy forest at night. He would just have to wait for a while for Al to find his way down. Barry turned when he heard the heavy footsteps and saw the movement. The man-shaped shadow lunged at him from the bushes, an axe held high. Barry screamed and threw up his hand. The world exploded. Dude, the world exploded. Also, I hope that doesn't happen to Barry. Barry's a... a bro. Barry the bro. Okay. This is another light, like, right near us. Whoops. Whoa! What? Okay, let's go. Don't turn around, because they might see you. Aha. Uh -huh. Nice. Um... Okay, there's a thermos. Oh my goodness. Oh man, is there like a boss fight or something coming up? There must be. Hartman sedates Wake. Hartman watched as Wake's features slackened. The man was bullheaded, no doubt. Even lying on the bed, he'd almost broken Hartman's nose the second time. But with a little time, he could break Wake down, give him proper direction. Wake was easily the most promising subject he'd had. Well, since Tom, really. Sleep well, Alan, Hartman whispered with a smile. Let me take care of you. He sniffed hard to clear his throbbing nose, swallowed blood, and barely tasted it. Gross. Aw, oh, dude, there's someone down there. Oh, it's Barry. Oh, I was really hoping that it would give us another checkpoint. Barry. Ow! You're alive! Yes, let me through. Let's get out of here. Can you open this gate? Maybe. Barry. Uh, well, I slammed it shut when the nasty showed up, and the key fits kind of loose in the lock, so, uh... The heck, Barry, move it. Nice. Hurry up, Barry. I'm on it. I'm on it.
Hey, what are you doing there? What? What are you doing there? That's where Barry is. <laughs> what is with the camera right now? Whoa. That's right. You punks. Come on. Now your turn. Ow. Ah, dude, you're too slow, man. You're too slow, Barry. Al, please tell me we're headed for the nearest. You're now leaving Bright Falls. Come back soon, sign. That worked out nicely. Anderson Farm. I knew you were going to say something like that. You know what? You owe me big time for this. When this is through, if we make it, I don't care what anybody says, I'm done with darkness. You're going to buy me a tanning bed as a gift, and I'm going to live in it. Okay. I'll take it. Same. I. It must have, like, the. Me dying and the cutscene triggering. What? You have got to be kidding me. <laughs> what? I don't even know what just happened here. Take that. He found a quarter. I'm so happy for him. Oh, no. This is no bueno. Oh, my goodness. No, you guys are so fast. There's so many. Oh, my goodness. Nope. Whoa. Wow. You thought, yeah. It was like, oh, you, you, you thought you beat this. I really, I really wish I had a flare gun right now. Whoa, dude. Boom. Nope. Nope. Ow! Oh my goodness, dude. You hit so hard. Aw, oh, what? He got me before I could use it. This is, um, this is really annoying. Hurry up, Barry. Dude! No! Nice shots, though. Woo! Oh, no! Oh, my God. Is this supposed to be this annoying? Hurry up, Barry. I'm on it. I'm on it. This is like really, really, really annoying. Oh my gosh. Just hang on, Al, he says. Just hang on. Yep. 
He found a quarter. Aren't you happy? Whoa, 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 whoa. Nope. Low battery. Whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Ow. Ow, stop it. Oh my gosh. I can't even see. Where am I supposed to go? Oh my goodness. We're good, I think. Oh my goodness. That was ridiculous. <sighs> That's quarters. He has a dollar now. He has a dollar. You're now leaving Bright Falls. Come back soon, sign. We're going to the Anderson farm. I knew you were going to say something like that. You know what? You owe me big time for this. When this is through, if we make it, I don't care what anybody says, I'm done with darkness. You're going to buy me a tanning bed as a gift, and I'm going to live in it. Watch it make us do that again for some reason. There we go. GG's. I'm crazy, but that's fine, Mary. <laughs> oh, you got that right, Al. You're barking mad. You are by far the craziest. But maybe that's inevitable when you deal with crazy stuff like this. It helps. This is happening, Barry. Alice, they never had Alice. She's trapped in the darkness at the bottom of the lake, but she's not dead. Al. How can you know that? I know, Barry. I can. Al, I know. Listen, I can. Bring Mustang her drift. Back. Is that a real thing? Her. There's something special about this place. The lake. It. It does something to the works of art created here. It makes them come true. But there's a catch. The dark presence, whatever that thing is, twists it to its own ends. That's why all of this is happening. It's using my manuscript to take over everything. Al, I believe you. It happened to Thomas Zane before. It happened to the Andersons. I believe you. Crazy or not, you're not delusional. Weird shit's going down. That's a fact. I'm on board, man. I'm with you. The Andersons knew about it, but they were too far gone to tell me with all the drugs they were on. But they wrote it down. There's a message somewhere at their farm, Barry. We just need to find it. Look out! It looked like he was about to push me. Like, get out. Boop. Is that... Is Mustang Drift a real thing? God damn it, I'll talk to me. I got thrown from the car, and I'm fine. I had lost my gun in the crash. Yep. Barry was nowhere to be seen. Wonderful. Barry! Barry! Oh, man, you're okay! Jeez, it's good to hear your voice! I was trying to get out of the car, but the ground gave way! Man, what a <laughs> I didn't do that on Jeez, purpose! It's good to hear your voice! I was trying to get out of the car, <laughs> but the ground gave way! Man, what a drop! Oh my gosh, it almost happened again. The cutout is fine. Forget that! The cutout is Are fine. You okay? Oh, I know. I tried jumping down. That didn't work either, Barry. So, thanks. Oh, it's real? <laughs> ah, Al, there's something moving down here. Oh, my gosh. Barry, it's a taken. Use a flare, Barry. Oh, yeah. Barry, are you all right? <laughs> I'm good, Al. I'm great. Guess you never messed with anyone from New York City before, huh? M must not have. Okay. Get Barry, to the farm. Just wait for me, okay? That is a long Barry, way. I'm not staying here. It's suicide. I'm going to the farm. I'm going to go ahead and secure the area. You can catch up. Don't worry about it. I'm on the 
He's right there. And he has the cutout. This would turn into a disaster he has the cutout. Catch up with Barry. At least they put their ad in a good game. Does it make you want to go out and buy a Mustang? So you can drift in it? You know, that darkness is outdoing itself now. Okay. It did that too. Okay. Our Oh no! I don't even have a flashlight! Stop it! I don't have a flashlight, you jerks! <laughs> oh goodness. This doesn't seem like a very good idea. Ooh, a manuscript page! Nice. Worth. Walter at the Anderson Farm. When he stopped the car at the Anderson Farm, Walter felt relieved. Oblivion was close at hand. The brothers wouldn't miss a jar of moonshine or two in the booby hatch. But then he saw the man on the porch, and he knew who it was. Driving for his life and knowing it was useless, he didn't realize he was crying until he couldn't see the road for the tears. Okay. Oh, I see a thermos. Oh, come on. Stop it. Stop it now. Oh, no. Stop it now. Ow. Get wrecked. Oh, what? Oh, no, no, no. Oh, my goodness. Little do they know that this is all that I want. Ugh, man, again. Now nah, you're not a car guy? Same. I like to look at them. But I'm good in my minivan. <laughs> um, do I have to get that manuscript page again? Oh, there's also... There's... Oh, no. Wait, that must have been where I was. Alright, this is... This is gonna be tough because... I don't have a flashlight. And these things tap me and it's all over. That's right. Got it. We're good. Let's see. I can't. Oh, yeah. I do have to get it again. Wow. Not going to lie. The game's a little mean right now. If he was rich, you get you get a chauffeur. <laughs> nice. When he stopped Wait, the car I don't. The yeah, I was going to say, I'm like, I don't think we have to read it again. Okay, and then this time we're going to go to the left from here. Boop! Just in case. Oh, come on, dang it. How? Seriously, though? Why? Hopefully it'll hit a tree. Oh, my goodness. No, no! Oh my goodness. No, dude! This dude's gotta do, do some cardio. He's gotta get better at running. Checkpoint reached. I needed a light to destroy them to get through. Need a light. I don't know why I just stopped there. I knew it. I knew it. I'm like, I'm going to fall through that, aren't I? I shouldn't, but I'm gonna. <laughs> oh. Hold on. That's weird. 
I want to go up here. Yeah, I know I have to jump. But I was hoping, like, yeah, let's see if the game's going to be dumb. somewhere around here to power up the old lights by the gate. Let's read. Nightingale arrests Wake. Agent Nightingale stared at the passed outrider. The man was sleeping off one hell of a night. Nightingale felt a stab of envy at Wake's oblivion. But he had a job to do. He put the gun to Wake's head and almost became a murderer. His hand shook and his throat felt tight and dry. Biting his teeth, he tried again to pull the trigger. He lost the nerve. Wake stirred. Nightingale would have to settle for an arrest. Whoa. Bingo, bango. Turn the pole. Whoa, whoa. What even? <laughs> we did it. I could sense the movement in the woods ahead. Facing the enemy without a weapon was dangerous, but I had no choice. Okay. Trust no one in the dark. Okay, gotcha. So don't trust Barry. Oh. <gasps> and here we go again. On our own. I saw. Omega three bats are good for your head. Oh my gosh! Stop throwing things at me. Whoa! Hey! Hey! Stop it! Oh my goodness. Whee! Yay! Nope. 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 Oh no. Huh? Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh gosh. Okay, no, no, no. I have no way of fighting you guys. I have no way of fighting you guys. Doesn't seem right. No, no. Oh my goodness. Okay. All right. I could sense the movement in the woods hmm. ahead. Facing the enemy without a weapon was dangerous. Oh, wait. I have to no pick choice. up the flashlight again. All right. Well, we'll figure it out. No worries. Yeah, that's, that's what I'm thinking. Is lead them pretty far away. And almost like get them caught here or something. Oh my gosh, dude. Oh my gosh, you guys are so accurate right now. Out of batteries. Nice. Oh my goodness, my poor face. Oh no. Oh my goodness. Guys, must stop. Oh, my gosh, really? Come on, man. Are there four of you now? There's four of you. This is just. Oh my goodness. They need they they really need to stop. <laughs> they just really really need to stop. Batteries, what? Oh. 
Uh, no, oh, I, I touch. I could sense the movement in the woods ahead. Facing the enemy without a weapon was dangerous, but I had no choice. <sighs> I know you've told me many times I'm never going to forget. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> what? How did you do that? No, I, I started it. I started Since it. Since the movement in the woods ahead, I started it. The enemy without a weapon was dangerous, but I had no choice. Oh my goodness! I started it. Okay. One more. At the beginning of the game, it was only two, and now all of a sudden it's three. I'm not any better at doing that anymore. But like, you would think that the. That the proficiency would have gone up. They're good for my heart. Oh, what is the deal with airplane food? Nope. Oh no. Uh, I done messed it up. Wow, these guys are like really good shots. Wow. Oh my gosh. Come on. Where's the... Do Arrgh. Oh, no. Oh, no. I could sense the movement in the woods ahead. Facing the enemy without a weapon was dangerous, but I had no choice. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. They are. I know, because you've told me so many times. No, I went right by it. Oh, my gosh. You butts, dude. Oh my gosh. What? Oh my gosh. <laughs> this part of the game is getting me. Oh my goodness. Seriously, stop. <laughs> Any day now, just 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 stop. Oh my gosh. And all of a sudden, dodge is just, like, not a thing. It just doesn't exist anymore. Okay. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Running for it immediately? That uh, I did that. Facing the enemy without a weapon was dangerous, but I had no choice. I will show you once again. Um, We did it the first time. And it, it didn't work out. Especially, don't don't forget that we don't have unlimited um, stamina as well. Yep. Yep. See. Oh, 
Oh, what? I like how they keep getting their uh, darkness back. That's 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 real cool. That's really cool. I could sense the movement mm. in the woods ahead. Facing the enemy without a weapon was dangerous, but I had no choice. They're good for your heart. Oh no! Uh. Oh gosh. There's the edge. Closer to the edge. What? What? What was that business? Where am I? What? Did I just do like a speed run strat or something? What was... I'm pretty sure I'm not supposed to be here. Like, that's... I don't think that's how it was intended. What? It hasn't given me a checkpoint. <laughs> Yo, the darkness got me. I could sense the Oh, rip. Facing the enemy without a was dangerous, <laughs> but I had no choice. Oh, man. And here I was thinking, like, what? Like, I did it. I did it. Stay away. They're good for your heart. They say so. <laughs> I hate these guys. <laughs> I hate them. I hate them. I hate them. <laughs> oh my goodness. I <laughs> gotcha. Oh. <laughs> oh. Go. Whoa, there's another one. Another two. Whoa. Oh, come on, guys. Stop it. That was a lot easier than doing what we we're trying to do the whole time <laughs> all right all is well again unbelievable a car was driving away from the farm headed in the same general direction as i was for all i knew it was barry caught in the consequences of leaping before looking i don't know i don't think so ggs ggs Heavy duty flashlight? Yes, please. Nice. Coffee thermos. Yum, yum, yum. Got me some batteries. Um, and that's it? Also, that fire... Looks like it's going. Who is here?
There comes that car. Heading for the cabin up ahead. It wasn't far. If it was Barry, I would see the damage soon. Headed to the fam. Uh. Did you see the Mass Effect prank call? No. Did I? You put that in the Discord? I haven't been able to go in there lately. I'm trying to deliver each page to the right time and place. I'm trying to show you how the story goes. Uh, I had seen glimpses of the light before. I had seen it in my dream. It was a strange spaceman or a diver in a bulky suit. He was the one who'd been placing the pages on my path. Okay. The Dark Presence at Large. The Dark Presence followed the choreography laid out to it in the manuscript, growing stronger and stronger, moving like a storm from one scene of destruction to the next. But it was still bound to follow the story and chained to the dark place it came from. When the story reached the end it longed for, it would finally be free. Hmm. Oh, really? <laughs> Does he talk about the Citadel? And which store is his favorite one on the Citadel? Ooh, traps. Everywhere. Uh, there are a lot of traps out here. <laughs> I can guarantee you I'm going to get stuck in those later. Oh, yes, he does. <laughs> See? That one only took a couple. That was only two, right? Another manuscript page. Patients escaped the lodge. The storm raged on as the Anderson brothers walked unsteadily away from the clinic with the other patients in tow, knowing that this time they wouldn't return. The darkness around them seethed with horrors, but Tor and Odin were unafraid. Their eyes glinted with guile. They knew every secret path, and there was blood on their hands. They had fought these shades before. Aha. Uh -huh. Shotgun. Someone had left a gun behind. Now I had a fighting chance of reaching the farm. Okay, but this is also a building, I think. Very hard. Okay, I was going to say, I'm like, I think there was a door. Uh, the Taken are filled with darkness. Like, I'm just starting the game again. All right, so they, they really want us to use this shotgun. Like, real bad. Uh, thanks, game. That was quick. Gasoline. Dale gasolina! Calls that one guy he called his snake. Oh my goodness. Is he like, this is Commander Shepard. Commander of the Normandy. I need to speak to your requisitions officer. Oh, what? Oh, what? 
Yeah. I knew that wasn't going to end well for me. Okie dokie. And of course there's more. Yo, dude, some of the tosses. Whoa, what? <laughs> oh, no. Nope. Nope. Very hard to see. Nice shot. <gasps> oh, no. Oh, gosh. Nice. Woohoo! I got there. I saw it behind me and I just kept going for it. Focus. I could see the car, but there was no sight of the driver. Okay, then. Let's go inside, because that seems safe. Hello? Anybody here? Ah! That sounds like Barry. That's Walter. Hold on. Uh... I'll go up and take a look in a second. Yeah, we read about this. Okay. Push. Can't see a darn thing. Oh, Danny. Uh, I know you. You were in jail the other day. I went to the farm again. And, uh, for the moonshine, you know? It makes you see. They're, they're not gonna miss it. They're in the loony bin. My buddy, Danny. I lost him. Something's gone wrong with him. It's not him. Like a real bad follow-up to a real good movie. The best friend's suddenly bad guy who, who wrote this crap anyway oh poor Walter aww he did okay well why didn't I see Danny hmm Okay. Oh, other rooms open now. I've run through every possible course in my head. If I continue like the Dark Presence wants me to, the story I'm writing won't save Alice. It's a horror story, and it's going to kill her, and me, and everybody in this town. No one will survive. Darkness will consume everything. This is what it's wanted all along. It will be free, unstoppable. It used Alice to get to me, dangled her in front of me to keep me going. It was never going to release her. I'm going to change this. I'll escape. I'll escape? I've written myself into the story. I'm now the protagonist. This feels like a terrible risk, but it's the only way to save Alice. Oh. The events of the story just as much as anyone else who's been woven into it. The story must stay true for this to work. There have to be victims along the way. Near escapes, cliffhangers. In a horror story, it can't be certain that the hero will succeed or even survive. He almost has to die. I'll write my own escape into the story next. I need help. Zane's going to be the one who will help me. I'll make it happen. Zane. What the heck was that noise? 
Someone cooking? Okay. You say so, sir. I'm sorry. That must have been Danny. Danny, huh? Yep. Oh, so he must have jumped through the window. The front door was locked. That's the front door? Okay, so I guess I have to jump out the window. <laughs> I could climb out through the broken window. Really? Cause that the farm was still a good distance away. I'd need a car to get there fast. I was gonna say though, like that looks like a long fall for you, cause you can't, you don't usually do very well with with long falls. Someone had deer for dinner. Oh dear. Yo, flashbangs and flares. Uh, let's check in here. They don't have a bathroom, they have an outhouse. Nice. Oh, here we go, we get to drive. <laughs> if Barry wasn't up here, he was probably in trouble down at the farm. For a moment, I felt bad for doubting him. After all, I made it this far myself. But Barry was Barry. Oh, oh, oh. I see a thermos. You know, we need to check to see how many of these we have. Alright, let's see. Is it... Stats. Um, coffee thermos is 51 of 100. Wow, I found 51 of those. TV shows found 10 of 14. Signs found 8 of 25. Signs. Alarm clocks. Cardboard. Oh, wow. I didn't even. Hey, I, I saw one of the board games. Was I supposed to, like, touch it or something? Ah, I didn't realize... There's this area up here. Oh, and another cabin. Wondering if there's stuff for us to get in these. Oh, this doesn't sound good. I'm saying that this is like a safe area here. I'm feeling like I probably don't need a lot of this stuff, though, to be honest. Flashbangs. Actually, well, flashbangs are always good to have. The thing that bothers me, though, is that you lose this stuff right after. The door there must be fake. Yeah, you, you lose this stuff right after the... There we go. Yeah, right, right after the chapter is over, you lose it. Or the episode, I should say. Oh, look it. And there's a battery symbol. That must be how much... Oh, I didn't realize that. The last time I used a car and I was bashing all of the Taken. I must not have realized that. Um, There's, like, actual, like, damage that it can take. You can take Jeep. I can, but um, this... Pickup truck, I think, was doing okay. Okay. Uh, hunting rifle. Hmm. I think I'm going to switch, yeah. 
Well, as I'm sure everyone's noticed, that storm we all felt coming is finally here. The boys at the Weather Service reckon it'll last until morning, at the very least. Uh, pertaining to that, let me uh, read that missing persons alert again. The Sheriff's Department's still looking for a Caucasian woman, 30 years old, slim and blonde with blue eyes. She may be lost in the woods, and it's possible she's been injured in a car accident. If you see her, please make sure you get her indoors and call the sheriff. It's bad weather to be caught out in, so if you see someone in the area who maybe looks a little confused, give him a hand, all right? <clears throat> this is Pat Main on KBF FM, hoping you're all safe and warm tonight. Cool. Thank you, Pat. It is a little weird that there's a car here that has... Really? Does this really seem like a good idea for you guys? Uh oh. Oh. Okay. Whatevs. I'll take it. I gotta say, I didn't expect that, though. <laughs> didn't expect that. Let me take the pickup again. Good old Pat, right? I like Pat. He's a good guy. Um, can't really tell if there's anything else to really stop and take a look at. Oh, right here. Wait, or is it? We already went there. What? Okay. Hold on. Oh my gosh! Look at where look at where they put um a thermos. It would ask Cuckoo. Ah, it was an ambush. Whoop, nope, no. Oh, no. Whoops, nope. Oh, no, no. Nice, nice. 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 Do you have spinners on your minivan? <laughs> I do not. Wait, what? What? No, 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 no. I disagree. Game. I disagree. What happened to the thermos? I so disagree. Well, as I'm sure everyone's noticed, that storm we all felt coming is finally here. Whoa. All right, so here we go. Yeah, I was trying to get back to the car, but it, it didn't work. <laughs> they were too fast. And here's this guy. Come on. Ow. There we go. Well, we're not going to get enticed by coffee thermoses this time. I 
I knew it was a trap too. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Dude. Oh, hello. Boop. <laughs> Get wrecked. Go faster. Oh, that probably wasn't a good idea. Never mind. Fantastic idea. Oh, what? This again? Oh, and there's someone behind me? Oh, my goodness. Whoa. Whoa. There we go. Easy peasy. <laughs> Lemon squeezy. Uh... And now there's this. Okay, guess we're going down this way. Another checkpoint reached. I see a thermos. Oh, it's that. I've known the brothers used to be some kind of rock stars, but it hadn't really sunk in until I saw this stage. Old. Oh no, I wasn't ready. Ow! Run! It's coming! There's too many of them! God damn. That's pretty dope. So glad you decided to go it alone, Mr. Rosin. Shut up and shoot. Shoot what? Oh no. Ow! We have to fight him off! I can set off more of the fireworks from here and help you out! Hey, Al, did you notice there's a lot of fall and stuff around? This place is stuck! Al, hold on. I'll try to get the stage lights on. Do it! Wow, wow, wow! Ow. Yes! Here we go! Up the power! Power wheel to the rescue! Come on. Yeah. Woo! Woo hoo hoo! Woo! Oh no. What the? What, what, what was that guy doing? Oh, okay. Heavy duty lantern? Yes. Whoa, that's awesome. Yes! Up! Stay in the light! Oh no, no! Why are you keeping this to me? Oh god, please, please, please! Okay, I don't know why I was using the handgun there either. But it worked. Whoa. Uh oh. Ow. Woo. They are trying 
and kill us. That's the high point of my life. Really? Children uh -huh. of the elder god! Enjoy it! God damn it! Nope. Oh man. Oh nice. Nope. Nice. Back in the game. Yes. Nice, nice. Oh, did I do that? Hello, switch. Is that it? Whoa, ow. Did that do it? Barry, did we do it? Whoa. That was pretty awesome. That was pretty awesome. Right Falls, rock and roll capital of America. Hey, Al, this way to the farm. Hold on, bud. I'm getting all the ammo I didn't even take. Woo. And I did that all with without the shotgun that they were trying to give me. I tried to pick it up, but it wasn't working. Ready to get drunk? Why is that what's about to happen? We're about to get some moonshine. Oh, there's all what is this? Looks like a manuscript page. We haven't gotten one in a while. Mulligan questions Nightingale's orders. Deputy Mulligan tuned Thornton's chatter out. He didn't think writers were particularly useful people, and a huge manhunt for one stuck him as idiotic. Certainly not worth the missed opportunity for coffee and pie. It wasn't <laughs> even clear what the man had done. Coffee and pie. From them at the trailer park. Mulligan knew he wasn't alone. The sheriff's patience with the Fed was running out. All right, let's go. Look at the cardboard cutout. See, bestseller, no reason to worry. Your cutout's good as new, right? We're great. All left in. I'm so I'll come great. Back for it once we have the place secured. I'm so grateful yeah, for that. That's been my biggest worry all this time. We need to get this thing moved out of the way. This is as far as I got before they ambushed me. Okay, there's Do I have to shoot that or something? Nope. That ain't it. They really want me to go there. I want to go to there. I see what you did there. <laughs> it was pretty good. Yeah, it was pretty you good. You want me to do my imitation of Barry Wheeler? No? Thought so. I I want to see it. Cool. And we're in kind of Viking crap, didn't they? 
Look at all this stuff. They must have done okay for themselves. So how come I never heard of these guys before? And this from the guy who learned about Ozzy Osbourne through reality TV? Ah. Uh -huh. Sleep. Oh, here we go. We all spend uh -oh, a third of our night dreams spring. in a soft embrace, Man. somewhere it's between memory. fantasy and hey, oblivion. Hey, remember when I got you that gig? But your dreams first are real writing job. What got you started? They're talking over each other. Or he's talking over the, the, the show. He needs to shut up. What's the last book you read? No idea. Tonight's episode. <laughs> It's the alarm clock. Oh, it's you, isn't it? Please, man, I got a wife and kids. Please don't wait. Okay. So is that supposed to be almost like a Matrix type thing? Like, oh, like, you're not actually living your life. It's, it's, you're just alive in someone, in someone else's dream. And that's all that's keeping you alive until they wake up. That kind of like what they're trying to get at there. All right, something tells me we're gonna have to fight the uh, the old the old men here. Okay, hold on. Earlier it said focus, and it really didn't focus on anything for me. So let's let's look around. Is there a moonshine machine or something, I would imagine? Or is that it? Okay. Barry? What are we supposed to be doing here, bud? Oh, there's there's stairs, never mind. Manuscript page. Oh, the Anderson brothers in the 70s. It's 1976. Madness reigns at the Anderson farm. Contrary to all logic, the headiest ingredient of their moonshine is unfiltered water from Cauldron Lake. Oh. The Andersons feel like gods. Odin can't stop laughing. He contemplates cutting his eye out. Tor runs across the field, naked, shrieking. Hammer in his hand, trying to catch lightning. Their songs have power. Something ancient is stirring in the depths, coming back. Oh. The Viking boat looked imposing, almost like a battering ram. Okay, hold on. Yo, check this out. The 1975 Ragnarok tour. Uh, Be Odd by Celestial Wrath and Fury. April 11th in Seattle. April 13th in Bakersfield, California, that time. 
Long Beach, California the next day. April 17th, New York City, New York. April 28th, New York, uh, Newark, New Jersey. April 22nd, Detroit, Michigan. April 26th, Jacksonville, Florida. April 27th, Tampa, Florida. April 30th, New Orleans, Louisiana. And May 1st in Baton Rouge, Louisiana. Wasn't I there? Totally, man. Weren't you? I'm there. You're there. She's there. I was gonna say, I'm like, I hit the button. I did it. Yeah. Lithium batteries, what? Don't need those, apparently. Oh, what the heck? You guys are in here, too? Whoa, 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 whoa. Lightning quick reflexes. Whoa, 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 whoa. What the dang? <gasps> that was a flashbang. I didn't mean to do that. Whoops. Uh, I thought I heard someone with a knife, but okay, hold on. I'm um, I'm sure it is, sir. I'm not I'm not denying that it's not. Uh, checkpoint reached, <laughs> but oh gosh. Um, hold on. All right, what is making that noise? Another one of those red chairs. What? Oh my gosh, dude. Rude. Rude. Oh, dude, the car, the car is starting to come after us. Oh, goodness. Nice. Nice. Is that it? Get that thing out of here. Cool. Barry, what the heck are you doing over there? <laughs> what, what is going on here? Ended up getting the exact I wanted. Now I just have to work on the catalyst. Nice. Congrats. Mario, how's it going? Welcome. Ooh, hello. Nice shot. Yeah, we did it. <laughs> oh, okay, we can't. It doesn't look like we can get over there real easily. He's hiding in the light, yeah. He's hiding in the light. Watching TV with Winston? What you watching? Oh, what you, what you, what you watching? What you watching? Barry. Barry. Wow, it is so bright. Focus. Is that wow. the, the moonshiner? Those geezers had quite a production going on. Oh, you know what, Al? If we make it through this alive, I'm going to start representing them. Yep, uh -huh. sell this stuff online, maybe get a reality show going, release a new single. Good luck with that, pal. <laughs> you find us a way out of here, okay? I'm going to take a closer look at this stuff. I'm too old for this stuff. <laughs> yeah, you started to play Skyrim again. Be careful. On Legendary, no less.
Nice. Uh, is this it? The shotgun ammo? They're preparing us for something. Another floor. What? It's okay. Uh, yeah, I'm fine. Keep your eyes open, okay? Thermos. Pretty sure I was supposed to use the shotgun for that, but what ifs? Lots of pistol ammo. Anyone else? Want a piece of this guy? I guess not. Just finished the college of winter hold quest line. Just got the conjuration and enchanting to 100. Um, so, is that the thing where, I thought I was, I was hanging out in someone's channel, I can't remember where exactly, but, um, there's a, there's a, like some sort of glitch where you can go, if, if you start using a conjuration spell or something, and you fast travel yourself across the map, you automatically get to a hundred or something like that, is that, is that what you do? All right, let's go. As you regular listeners know, I tend to work through the night, but I'm not the only one. Deputies Mulligan and Thornton are taking a couple of moments off their busy schedule to join me here in the studio. Oh. Boys, how busy are you now? Deerfest is almost here. Deerfest, I almost forgot. That keeps you in business. Pretty busy, yeah. Yeah. Actually, Pat, we've been real busy with other stuff. Which concerns an ongoing investigation. Good old Pat is right. We can't talk about that, Thornton. I wasn't going to say anything. I was just saying we got, you know, other irons to fry. And how would you compare your workload to last year's? Things have seemed relatively peaceful to me, but people do tend to get a little wild this time of year. Oh, it's wild, Pat. It's pretty wild. There's been all sorts of trouble this year. Vandalism, fighting, public disturbances. That's alteration to use telekinesis through. to hold an yeah, item and then fast trap. That's it, yeah. Stuff, uh, just, you know, uh, well, uh, hey, Reaper, how's it going? No. Never heard of it. I think that's a lie. Wilder every year. People seem to be more drunk. No Deer Fest 2020, I bet, though. Yeah. Younger. <laughs> oh, it's definitely not just you, Pat, but definitely, Pat. Hey, I'm talking here, Thornton. Uh, oh, shoot, I lost my train of thought. Not just me. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. You never heard of Alan Wake? Pat, but actually most of the trouble I thought you had talked to me about it. Men. People who ought to know better, you know? Kids are doing fine this year. Well, that's nice to hear at least. Boys, I want to thank you for stopping by. I'll let you get back to your patrol. Sure thing, Pat. Huh. Yeah, sure thing, Pat. Yeah, sure thing, Pat. Checkpoint reached. Take a look outside. Ooh, lithium. Alright, so that must let us back down after using this. See, we only had to do that twice that time. I could see the building that had to be the Anderson's home on the Where? other side of the field. Oh, right there. It wasn't far now. I wasn't worried about trusting the ramblings of two burned-out geriatric wrecks. They had the goods. They had the goods. They had the goods. The re-flares. Okay, there's something that's gonna go down here. Where is it? Oh, what? No way, dude! No way! Open the gate! No, you... Oh, my goodness. What? Yo, I, I dodged the wheat thresher. Or the harvester is what they're calling it. Whoa! Oh, what? 
<laughs> I did not expect that. That, that was crazy. <laughs> did not expect that at all. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. <laughs> wow. I know, right? Yikes. Yikes. Zoinks. Yo, we beat the harvester so fast. Uh, okay. Putting that down. What silo door? Nice shot. Greatest shot ever. The greatest shot of all time. Yeah, that dodge though. Nice. Okay. Let's go. Are they? Really? That guy's smart. Ow! Seriously, dude. Cool. There we go. We got it. The heavy dual lantern is good. It is. It is very good. Now I just have to figure out what silo door they want me to open. This guy came through here, so I'm assuming they want me to go through here. All right. No items. Splatter spree? <laughs> is that from Doom? Someone's coming through here. You know this. Or I gotta kick it, maybe. Kick! Oh, never mind. Silo keys. Look at that. Ain't that nice. Can't go through there? Okay. Maybe that's it right there? Ah, uh, Al? Is that you out there, buddy? Yeah, it's me. Hang on. I did it. Hey, let's go, man. Uh, was there anything I needed in here, though? He's being very pushy. Moonshine time. Can't go through there. Can't get that from here. Can't go that way either. Okay, hold on. Barry. Barry Manilo. Oh, it's a metal in Halo. Hey, I think that's the farm on the other side of the field. I think so too. This farm is a crazy place for crazy people. We should feel right at home then. Duh. Dude, we should tell him about how we fought a harvester. Valhalla. You see that? Come on, one more gig. Let's do this thing. <laughs> Yo, look at this chainsaw. Old gods know the truth. Because they, they drank the moonshine that was made with water from, from Cauldron Lake. Alright, hold on. Get to the Anderson's house. I'm here already, but let's take a look around. Real quick. Like. Probably nothing to get, though.
All right, let's go. The fuse box. Copy thermos, though. Asgard. Wait, in the valley of my shadow? <laughs> Alright. Ketchup bottle or something. Yo, they had it like a house party. Examine. The power downstairs was out, but I was sure I could fix that at the fuse box. Okay. The power downstairs was out, but I was sure I could fix that at the fuse box. Looking at a record player is making that trigger. Fireworks. Thermos. Asgard and Shadow is here. Yes, all the things are happening here. Yo, they had a gold record? Good for them. This room is very well put together for these dudes being who they are. Come on, Al. Let's get the lights on, huh? It said down in the basement. Let's go upstairs first, I guess. You know, this place looks kind of lived in. I thought the Andersons were in the booby hatch. Okay. Manuscript. Let's read it. The mystery of the missing week. Again, Alice's screams rang in the stillness of the night. I saw myself run toward the cabin, flashlight in my hand. I followed my past self. I was an out-of-body observer, a time traveler in a crazy drunken dream. This was the beginning. The night Alice had disappeared. The mystery of what had happened during the missing week was about to reveal itself. Favorite multiplayer commentator? Since I don't know any, I'd probably have to say myself. Probably. Or, oh wait, or do you mean like, like in video games? Uh, I like the one from Killer Instinct. <laughs> Hyper combo! Killer combo! Boom, I fixed it. Dude, like every light is on in this house. Can you hear that, Al? Music? Of course. We need to find where it's coming from. That's the message the Anderson's talking about. That's the whole reason we're here. Lady of the Light? <laughs> oh, that's gotta be what's her face, the crazy lamp lady from the town. Cynthia Weaver. Right. Must be. Play the record. Okay, we need to find the lamp lady. Okay. We need to find Cynthia Weaver. We'll stay here for the night and head back to town as soon as it gets light. Hey, Al. Lots of hours before dawn. Oh, my Let's gosh. Some rest. And by rest, I mean drunk. <laughs> Come on, Barry. This is... Yeah. What the hell? <laughs> You're a crazy bastard. I'm going to stick by you. No matter what. Ever, Al. Sure. Like a brother. I'm like a, a brother. Writer. God damn it. Correct. If I just wanted to, I could write ten books a year. And and they'd be the best books that year. No, you couldn't. That's right. I couldn't. But I could, because I'm a writer. What? What do they put in this stuff? I feel like my brain is coming out of my nose. <laughs> I'm gonna get the recipe off those coots and be a, a, a booze millionaire. I just miss her, Barry. I just want her here with me. I know, Al. I know. It's gonna be okay. Oh, I don't remember what the one in Unreal sounds like. Look at that cardboard cutout. It's beautiful.
<laughs> okay. Here we go again. Yo, I'm a ghost! Get to the cabin. Uh, the one behind me? Because <laughs> that's the only one that... Wait, what? Alice, I'm coming. It's all right. I'm coming. It was a crazy drunken dream. And yet, it was more than that. It was the truth. A suppressed memory unearthed by the Andersons' moonshine. I was there. An out-of-body observer. This was the night Alice and I had arrived at Bright Falls. The night Alice had disappeared. I had a chance to find out what had happened. I remembered being surprised to see the cabin dark. Alice would have never turned the lights off. Uh, by the way, look at this house. It looks like it has a face. I'm stuck on the fence. I have, I'm having an out-of-body experience, but I got stuck on the fence. Jeepers. Alice? Can I jump? I remember thinking I caught a glimpse of her form underwater, sinking into the darkness. <sighs> Diving after her was the last vague memory I had of that night. Mm -hmm. After that, the next thing I could remember was waking up behind the wheel of the crash car and finding the first pages of the manuscript. <gasps> yep. That's the beginning I of the game. Find her in all that blackness. I must have thought she drowned. Alice! Jagger had Alice. Alice. And so she had me. Alice! <coughs> oh, there she is. An easy prey. Look at the cabin. Is there someone in the window? Alice? I, I don't know. I cannot Maybe see that far. She didn't drown after all. Maybe she's inside. Alice! Yes. Okay, and now I cannot go as fast as I was before. Hmm. The dark presence had touched me. She had dug her nails into my brain and used me, made me her puppet. Here she is. <gasps> she must be here somewhere. Is that the Maybe upstairs in the study? Alice. Yes, that's where she is. Is that the you old woman that we saw at the Alice. At, at Dr. Hartman's place? Put it behind you. Alice. She's not here. You were foolish to think so. No, she's dead. She drowned. No, no, no. It's your fault your wife is dead. You are guilty. All she wanted was to help you right. You killed her. Ah! Oh, hush. There's still hope. Cauldron Lake is a special place. Here, you have the power to change things. She wanted you to write. I will tell you what to do. You yes, she's the one that gave us the keys to the cabin. Yep. The story will come true, and all will be well again. Um, because we didn't see Stucky at she the very beginning. Alice, and the manuscript was the ransom for her. Yeah, I saw. Yeah, yeah, it's actually been uh in gaming news a lot lately. Yes. All right. I'll fix it. I'll bring her back. That's how writers. That's how. That's how, writers type, right? No. The 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 one two polka. I remembered it all now. In the dark, I'd written for days, a week, almost a complete manuscript of a novel entitled Departure. Jagger had been my editor, whispering in my ear, making sure that the unfolding story would make her more and more powerful. I thought I was saving Alice. 
Even with the cobwebs she put in my head, some part of me had been aware enough to write my escape into the story, to bring a light into the cabin to release me before I could finish, to interrupt the horror story before the ending, where darkness consumed everything and everyone. Zen the one two polka and far away but i had written him into the story that's and his light had been that's what my wife calls it free. that's how she says that i type but I, she's like for a person who does the one two polka i'm oh my gosh it's bioshock Uh, but yeah, it's basically on the keyboard. Up, confused and groggy, my mind consumed by darkness and fear. All I could do was to escape. The week spent in the cabin had taken its toll. I was barely conscious and fading fast. It had to have cost Zane terribly, thrown him even deeper into whatever dark place he now haunted. But he had managed to weaken the dark presence, kept me safe that night. This isn't going to end well right here. And that's where the game started. Look at that. Full circle. That's what they call it. it. It's my fault. That's right, James Joyce. It's your fault, and you're gonna. Okay, pay for Nightingale. It. Well, <laughs> you got us. Nice. That was episode four. The truth. We know it now. I believe there are two more chapters or episodes, and then there's two DLCs after that. Uh, which I guess are uh, about an hour long. This game like Resident Evil? No. <laughs> it's um, it's survival horror, I guess, kind of. But other than that, nah, there's not a whole lot of a whole lot of similarities. Next episode is good, but you said that four is your favorite, though, right? on Alan Wake. Under the influence of the dark presence, I wrote a horror story that is coming true. Jagger had been my editor, making sure that the unfolding story... Tell everyone about the more commercial. More powerful. <laughs> there was, um... Enough to write my escape into the story. Together we can create I'll let this go. For anyone who missed it. The lake, it, it does something to the works of art created here. It makes them come true. My mom gave me this old light switch. The clicker. Alice is being kept in a dark prison. I need to find Cynthia Weaver to fix this. It's your fault, and you're gonna pay for it. Okay. The clicker. Well, we're expecting a record crowd from the neighboring counties. Naturally, it's Deerfest. The record set by last year's Moose Fest in our neighboring town, Watery. Ladies and gentlemen, some people have asked me, what's the big deal about Deerfest? And I think that this sums it up. It's about friendship and community. We've got a great party coming up, but uh, let's try to hold it in until tomorrow and get through the night in one piece, all right? Oh, okay, I guess it's tomorrow. You have it. Someone will come for it when the time is right. Thomas said so. He wrote it. The key is insurance. It's my job to keep it safe. Safe in the light. Uh, Always in the light. The key. Best cupcakes in Pacific New something. All the manuscript pages were gone. The FBI agent had taken them. I think. I think my tongue just took a crap in my oh, mouth. That's oh, that's awful. Wait, we're in jail now? Bye, Reaper. Al, oh, Al, this is not good. That about sums it up. <laughs> oh. Oh, he's fine. So what? Okay. I am never drinking again. Yeah, I've heard that before. I need to talk to Weaver. She's the one in the song. The Lady of the Light. What, the crazy lady? Ugh, whatever you say, what Al, but we're stuck Wayne here. Nightingale. They're not gonna... I've been interviewed, Wake. I had some reading to do first, Sheriff. And let me tell you, it was an interesting read. 
Well, I've got you now, Raymond Chandler. It's all here. All the That's the second time I think he's called us that. To murder a federal agent. There's no way you're walking out of here. You hear me in there, Brett Easton Ellis? Huh? Agent Nightingale, I want to talk to your superior. This guy reads a lot of books. Want things, Sheriff. I wanted my... <sighs> Look, that's not possible right now. Agent Nightingale, I insist. <sighs> okay, I didn't... I didn't mean for this to keep going. Wake, what's wrong? But Lady, are you here stupid? we are. It's a trick. It's an obvious trick. Okay, I've had enough of this crap. Wake, I'm going to trust you with this. You're joking. Agent Nightingale, your opinion would matter more if you were sober and if I actually believed you were here on official business. Whoa! Get, get back in the cell, Stephen King. The only way you're leaving this place is over my dead... Wait a minute. I know this... Oh, it took him. It took him. Oh See ya. Light. We need light. It's the only way to fight this thing. In my office. I've got your things there. Follow me. Nope. Don't leave me here. <laughs> oh, man. We're sitting ducks with the lights out. Stay cool. I can get the emergency power on. Okay, but I'm done playing, and I need to say bye to chat. Okay. Well, that's going to wrap things up for tonight. Uh, what Knife was talking about was that this game, uh, they have things that come up on the TV screens, and it's usually like the show called... Uh, Night Springs, which apparently was written by Alan Wake. But uh, one of the TVs that I turned on, it was actually commercials for Verizon and Mustang Drift. Randomly. It was really strange. But it, it was pretty funny. And at the same time, I'm thinking, I'm like, is that kind of how they used... Like, they like paid for part of the game by, by doing that? Because Energizer, we've seen that. We've seen Ford... So I feel like, you know, there's product placement in places that and they probably got some money for it <laughs> to make the game. But uh, yeah. Wow, that was uh, quite the um, adventure, huh? Uh, next time, I think we'll be back on Friday. We're going to kick off the rest of this episode because it just wouldn't stop. So <laughs> it was super unexpected. I did not expect to see that, especially because all they've been showing us is cr is creepy things every time we turn on a television so it was like kind of weird just to be like when is this gonna go south i'm waiting for it <laughs> it never did but uh yeah knife thank you for hanging out and i can tell that you really love this game so it's like great to see that like you know like it's it seems to be one of your favorite games so i'm i'm glad i'm playing this with you be here or be square ba basically basically um and yeah everyone else thank you so much for hanging out and uh Spending some time here, getting spooked. Uh, at least I got spooked, but you know. Um, but yeah, everyone take care. And Shadow, get some more rest. I'm glad you're feeling better. And uh, I'm glad to hear that uh, that's been taken care of because teeth, it's no, it's no fun to have to deal with teeth stuff. But um, everyone take care. And uh, hopefully I'll see you next time. Peace.